Howdy y'all! Jayhika here, welcome to another adventure! We are going to take a quick break from saving the world from utter destruction and we are going to do the Christmas event! Uh, this is uh, Heaven's, Heaven's Tide. Heaven's Tide? Heaven's Tide. Heaven's turn is near. So this is Heaven's Tide. Merry Christmas to you all and happy holidays! Um, I am also, I don't know if it's going to pick it up, but my voice is finally recovering. I haven't played and recorded in about three or four days because I got sick and I lost my voice for like two days and I'm recovering. And I still got some sniffles, but otherwise I'm fine. Like I'm fine. Anyway, let's go ahead before we save the world and celebrate some holiday fun time with a glitching computer apparently. It's doing that thing where it's stuttering again and I can't stop it. And if anyone wants to buy me a new computer, by golly George, buy it. I wonder why I love this game. Oh my gosh. I'm probably gonna get like some sort of like copyright trouble for this. Oh, this is so cute! Merry Christmas and a happy. That's great. Okay. Now I do want to do the event. Let's go. I'm dressed in my nice warm sweater. Let's figure this out. It's that special time of year where the streets light up for this starlight celebration once more. And preparations are underway. I'm Garanti, ready for the festivities at Mikado's Amphitheater. I may just have a special task for you. <laughs> As my thing glitches even more. Well, if it isn't my favorite adventure, I hope you haven't forgotten about me in the year since we last met. You'll be lending a hand with the festival again this year, won't you? Because I can certainly use your help. You see, I have something of a beast problem. Nothing dangerous, I assure you, but it's not exactly my area of expertise, and I imagine a seasoned veteran such as yourself, with all your experience dealing with the Earth's most exotic fauna, would be better suited for the task. Come on out, Rudy! Rudy? Rudy? Hello! Yep! Why, well, hello, sunshine! This little fellow is Rudy. At least, that was, that's what I've been calling him. He appeared all of a sudden, and I was making, as I was making my usual preparations, and now he doesn't seem to want to leave. I was weary at first, but he hasn't tried to cause any trouble. I dare say he's even better behaved than some of my little helpers. I've grown so fond of him, I just couldn't resist making him a little costume. Doesn't he look adorable in it? Yep. The only problem is that it's as if he's trying to tell me something. It seems terribly important to him, but for the life of me, I can't figure out what it might be. I don't suppose there's something you might be able to do to help, is there? Well, I can try. Yep, 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 yep. Hmm. Forgive me. I know I'm asking the night impossible. After all, it's not as if an adventurer like yourself has the ability to commune with beasts. So, oh, whatever am I to do? I can find someone who can. It looks like you could use some help, my dear. Oh my god! What is that? I want it! What? Did, did that squirrel just speak? By the twelve, a talking squirrel. You can understand us? An auspice, I presume. I don't know. <laughs> By the twelve, a talking squirrel! <laughs> ah, the reaction never fails to amuse. Yes, I can understand and speak your language just fine. For you see, I am what is known as an auspice, a beast proficient in the tongues of man. If you have traveled to the Far East, you may have encountered others of my kind. But allow me to introduce myself. I am Rasai, a wanderer who goes wherever duty, sentiment, and sweet smell of delectable desserts takes me. A meeting with an old friend is what called me to Eorzea, but your festivities piqued my interest. I couldn't help but overhear your conversation, so it struck me that I might be a service. With Rudy, you can understand him? 
I would be a sad excuse for an auspice if I could not. So allow me to provide some enlightenment. It seems your furry little friend would entreat a favor of you. To wit, he is troubled by the fact that he's a bit of a run compared to his brothers. They hardly ever treat him like a real yeti, making fun of him and the tiny snowballs that he makes. Oh, you're so cute! <laughs> snowballs, indeed. I heard that yetis incapacitate and capture the prey by blowing frosty balls of snow and ice. Yip, 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 yip. <laughs> Your friend would politely point out that this is not true of all yetis. Rudy and his kin live peacefully deep in the mountains with a far cry from the savage beasts that roam Carthus. They vie for supremacy amongst themselves, not through violence, but by competing to see who can build the biggest snowball. Rudy was practicing making snowballs in secret to prove himself when he fell from a small precipice and got lost. He wandered the first aimlessly for days and had just about given up all hope when a white-haired fellow found and rescued him. The kindly fellow in question was none other than the saint of Nimia, he says. Saved our poor Rudy before gallivanting off to the starlight celebration. Poor Rudy, alas, didn't even get a chance to thank him, so now he wishes to find the saint and probably express his gratitude. What a touching story, truly a starlight miracle. And I do very much wish I could help, but I'm sorry, Rudy. I fear I haven't a clue where the saint is right now. He never sticks to one place for too long, you see. Always busy delivering gifts to children all over the realm. Yip, yip, yip. The saint will know that you're a good yeti or the best way to show thanks for to pay his kindness for. The best way to show thanks is to pay the kindness for. Pay the kindness forward. That's right, and if you help bring joy to all the young ones for the Starlight Celebration, you can be one of his little helpers. Why, if you're lucky, you might even be able to meet him again. Yip, 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 yip! Rudy says he would be happy to help, as, for that matter, would I. At the very least, I can avail you as an interpreter. You'll be lending a hand too, won't you? Yes. I understand this is all rather sudden, but please tell me you'll agree. I'm sure it would mean the world to Rudy. Yeah, I'm gonna help you. It's Starlight Festival. Splendid. Now let us come up with a plan for getting this little one involved in the festivity. Yes. Actually, I don't think it's my computer for once. I think it might be the game. Let's go. Speak with Rasai. Come in, Rasai. Hello. Thank you again for your aid. Now, there must be something special Rudy can do for the children of the Starlight Festival, or season. What could that be? Might you have any ideas? Yes, making snowballs. Yep, yep. What's that you say? The snowballs you make are so tiny that no one would ever want them? Don't be so hard on yourself, my little friend. Clearly, your talents simply lie elsewhere, and it's our job to, find, to help you find them. Perhaps you can join the choir, for example. Can you sing? Let's hear it. Thank you, Rudy. That was most unique. Unfortunately, perhaps it's not the best fit for singing the Starlight Carols. There must be something we can do. I would hear your thoughts, though, Adventure. He can make snowballs for his snowball fight. He makes little snowballs for kids. That's a possibility, yes, but the children rather enjoy making snowballs themselves. I'm not convinced that taking the task away from them will bring much joy. That reminds me, what do you think of these, Great Tell? I picked them up in Old Oz, some kind of traditional confection. They look rather snowball-ish, don't they? Perhaps we can make something similar for the festival goers to nibble on. Yep. That's right, Rudy. This is your chance to prove yourself once and for all. You're going to make the loveliest, most scrumptious snowball treats any Yeti ever had. And we'll be with you every step of the way. You just need to have faith in yourself. Yip, yip, yip. Well, if it's sweets we're making, I know just the person. Mother Mion of the Carline Canopy. I'm staying in a room there, and I must say I found her confection second to none. Shall we then? Why is a squirrel needing to stay at a hotel? Okay. I mean, you do you, man. Let's go ahead and warp over there. I 
don't know why it keeps glitching. Uh, my computer is running perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with how my computer is running right now. I have fiber, so it's not the internet. I don't know why it's doing it. I just have to assume it's my old computer. So we're just gonna have to get through this together. Sad as that is. See, it's doing it again. Because it hates me. Mother Mignon, there is something my friends and I would discuss with you. Yep. Quite the motley bunch, I see. What is it that brings you all here? We're trying to make sweet confections that look like snowballs. I see. In that case, you've come at the perfect time. I believe I know a way this might work in both of our favors. In the midst of, of preparing Starlight gift boxes for the children at Bent Branch Meadows, exotic snow-themed sweets would be most welcome addition. Then furnish you with said sweets we shall, or that is, once we figure out precisely how we're going to make them. You leave that to me. I'll have a working recipe for you before you know it. In the meantime, might I ask you to pick up some ingredients we'll need in advance? I'll put it all on my tab. I'll put it all on my tab, so you can simply pick everything up and bring it back. Okay. It would be our pleasure, and don't you worry, Rudy. Our adventurer friend and I will handle the transaction. Yep, yep, yep. You do the shopping all by yourself, you say? Tahika need only stand back and watch. If you insist. What an eager little helper your friend is. Here, I've made the list of everything you need. Simply show this to the shopkeep and they'll take care of you. The flour you can procure at the Whistling Miller and the oil at the Bonus Guild. And stay warm out there, yes? <clears throat> and with that, let's be off. First off, the Whistler's Miller. Whistling Miller. With us, Rudy! Yep! Okay. Okay, Rudy, here we go. Yep! Is that a baby Yeti? And why is it dressed in one of the same thing as helpers? Yep, yep, yep! A letter from Mother Mia? Let's see. Ah, uh, now I see. You're running an errand for the Carline Candy. Well, I can certainly help you with that. Give me a moment and I'll fetch you your flower. Here you are. This should be enough to last me on for a while. Don't work yourself too hard now. Yip, yip, yip! Well, Winnie, look at that. It would seem our friend Rudy is a natural at this. I dare say it couldn't have gone any smoother if we did it ourselves. Now to the botanist skills for oil. Let's go! Okay, let's go. Rudy. Oh, there you are. Yip, 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 yip! Act, be gone, foul beast! Back to the forest with you! Yep, yep. Oh dear, it seems our little friend is in something of a pickle. We could go to his aid, but lest you wait a bit still, it would give the lad more confidence to be able to overcome the predicament itself. It won't leave. Oh, what to do? I'd rather not get involved with the wood whalers. Yep, 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 yep! Sandra, you're mean. A no? Could it be that you're here for an errand of sorts? Well, I'll be cooking ingredients for Mother Miyoon. And here I thought I'd you some savage beast who'd wander in to cause trouble. If frying oil's all you need, I'll be happy to oblige. Just one moment. You're like evil thing, Greg. Oh, look, she has the same haircut as me. Oh, I love her armor. Careful now, it's heavy. And do take care on your way back to the canopy, yes? Yep! Beep, 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 beep. Oh, would you look at that? Rudy managed fine on his own after all. And now that we have everything we need, let's head back to Carline Canopy and get this all to be on. Okay. Oh, Mother Mion, we have the flour and the oil. Excuse me, excuse me. Mother Mion? No. Oh, Rudy. Yep, yep, yep. Good to see your back safe and sound, and just look at how well you performed your little errand. You really are a wonderful little helper. Yay! Yip, yip! Yip, yip, yip. A 
And with that, we have everything we need to make sweet starlight treats for the children. It'll take me a little while to prepare, so how about a cup of piping hot tea while you wait? That would be splendid, Mother Meun. Me I don't know how to say that. Though I dare say it might make me even hungrier for a little something sweet to go with it. Yip, yip, yip. I don't mind a cup of hop, popping hot tea. Right? That's what she said? Oh, look how cute they are! Yip, yip, yip! Amazing! I expected nothing less from Mew Mew. I'm truly, your confessions are simply to die for! Oh, look at those! They're little shoe pastries. You flatter me, Rasai. Incidentally, you might be interested to hear that this is a traditional dessert called Schneeballs. <laughs> Named after an old house guard's word, meaning snowball. A perfect fit for a yeti, wouldn't you say? Oh, so it was no mere coincidence that they looked like little snowballs. Yep, yep. You know, Rudy, you shouldn't let yourself be discouraged by what your siblings might say to you. There's no shame in being different from everyone else. After all, just look at me. I'm hardly like any of the other squirrels out there. And do I let it bother me? Not at all. We should be proud of what sets us apart from others, not ashamed. Yep. Yep! 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 Once we finish making these, my gift boxes will be ready for delivery to Beth Branch Meadows. Speaking of which, would you like to help in handing them out? There's no better reward for hard work than watching the children's face light up with joy. Don't worry, you won't have to do all the work. I'll be asking the Starlight Celebrants to assist as well. Well, what do you say? Yep! 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 Rudy says he'd love to, and would most appreciate if you would join us. You'll do this for him, yes? Yes, I will. Gain his confidence. Yep! Haha, <laughs> they're so cute! You have my thanks. We'll make a few more batches of these and pack them up into the gift boxes for you. I'm Grand Garin. I'm Garin G. We'll be able to tell you what to do from there. Duly noted. Thank you for everything, Mother Milan. Yep! They're so cute! Oh my god! Oh my god, they're, oh, they're so adorable! Why are they so adorable? Oh, they're just so flippin' cute! Mm -hmm. Too cute. Too cute. Too cute. Either it doesn't exist or it's really evil. <laughs> you can't be that cute! It's not allowed! Welcome back. I trust that everything is well with our newest little helper. Yep. Rudy and the two of you are helping Mother Neon make snowball shaped confections. What a splendid idea. The children will be delighted, I'm sure. Well done, Rudy. I'm so proud of how far you've come. Yep, yep. Furthermore, we would like to assist in handing out the presents at Bent Branch Meadows if we may. Of course, I wouldn't want you to miss out on the joys of delivering the goodies and seeing the children's smiling faces. Thank you for sticking around, my friend. If you'd like, I'd be happy to tell you more about the festivities so you can get fully into the starlight spirit. Yay! Oh, we get Rudy and the squirrel! Well, I do believe it's time to deliver presents to the children. You're still willing to help out, yes? It would be our pleasure, Rudy's in particular, and we'll be there to support him all along the way. Excellent. On to business then. My fellow sovereign, Yenfeld, has been placed in charge of this task. Seek him out at Ben Branch Meadows and he'll tell you everything you need to know. Okay. To Ben Branch Meadows. To Ben Branch! <laughs> Clearing my throat. Okay. Ah, this way.
Love it, Phil. <clears throat> About time you showed up. I mentioned that you might be helping out, and believe you me, we could get all the help we can get. Then you will have ours. My Yeti friend, Rudy, Tahanka, and I, Brisai, are more than happy to aid. Though I must say, Mother Mion truly outdid herself this time. Just look at all the presents! Might I suggest that we split the duties, that we might deliver them to the children in a more efficient manner? Tanka, why don't you take that batch and go with Rudy? Meanwhile, I'll get started on the opposite side. Dear me, Rudy's so worrying to go that it might be best to stand aside a bit and leave him to it. It would do wonders for his confidence, and I'm sure the children will be delighted in gaining it from a seasonally fitting snow creature. Hi, Rudy. That was a giant dragon. Okay, let's fly this way. <clears throat> okay, Rudy. Yep, yep, yep. A snow beast, please don't eat me! Yep! A present for us? Why, you must be one of the saints' little helpers! Rudy gives the children their presents. Wow, these look absolutely delicious! And I was just thinking about how hungry I was! Lucky me! Are you sure these are safe to eat? I suppose they must be, or that adventure would do something about it. Anywho, thank you. Thank you, fluffy little helper. We'll be sure to eat them all at once. Oh, don't do that. You'll get a tummy ache. Yep, yep, yep. Good job, Rudy. Let's go help someone else, Rudy. Oh, no. Wait, this is a Christmas celebration. We must have the Christmas mount. I know I have a snowman, but I have a giant bear. That throws presents! Ah! Let's go! Whee! Where are they? Oh. Yeah. Hi, Rudy. Yip, yip, yip! What? Well, it's lost you to adventure! Do something about this! Wait, I think it's holding something. What have you got there, little friend? Are those presents for us? Yep! Rudy gives the children their presents. What are these? Some kind of snowball shaped cakes? I've never seen anything like them before. They look so good! And I'm going to tell all my friends I got them from the Saint's cutest little helper of them all! They smell delicious! Thank you very much for the gift, little helper! And you too, Mrs. Adventurer! Yep, yep, yep! Yeah! <laughs> You're so cute, Rudy! Oh, I know that the, the squirrel minion is cute too, but my god, not only is Rudy cute physically, but he has such a cute personality. I love him! Okay, where's this next one? Ah. Oh. We delivered them already? We did, okay. Mission successful. You should be proud of yourselves. You snowball sweets are the talk of the town, and not just amongst we led, but us all a starlight miracle this year. What the? Yetis! Yetis in the city! Take cover at once! Oh no. Yetis. That voice, did it come from the city gates? I'll check it out. Oh, he's gonna come with me. Why, thank you, I am. Maybe they're just looking for Rudy. They could just be looking for Rudy. When the seven hells is going on? I know not from where, but a pair of these gruesome yetis just stormed into the city. Grrrr! Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh dear, yes, I see. Lend me your ears, friends. There is no need to panic. Our large friends here haven't come to attack us. They're simply Rudy's siblings. Come to take their little brother home. You're lucky, little Yeti, to have such a good family worried about he and Rudy, or even if they don't look like they're about to give a good whooping. Indeed, I cannot deny that they are a bit perturbed to hear them tell it. They're rather upset that Rudy allowed himself to be captured so easily. Captured? Think he can't fend for himself, do they? Yep, yep, yep. 
Tell them that's not what happened. Yep. Grawl. Yep, 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 yep. Grawl? <laughs> yep, 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 yep. <laughs> well, what are they saying? Did they sort it out? Oh, I'd say our little friend Rudy really told them off. He told them all about the delicious snowball treats we made together and how the children's faces lit up when we gave them as presents. He said he may be small, but he's as proud as he can of what he's accomplished. And he won't let anyone belittle him anymore. Good job, Rudy. Yip, yip. Yip, yip. Say, Rudy, how about letting your brothers try your snowballs? And taste is worth a thousand words after all. Oh, look at his little Nothing like sharing tasty treats to bring a family together. Roar! Well, isn't that nice of him? He just apologized for how they treated Rudy all these times. He says he's proud to call Rudy his brother, and that Rudy is more than welcome to join in their snowball fights and all their Yeti games. <laughs> yep, 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 yep! Roar! Roar! Yep, 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 yep! <laughs> Oh, that was too cute. <gasps> Hi. He did it on purpose. He got him on purpose because he needed that confidence boost. He saved Rudy on purpose to give him the confidence boost he needed. Oh, you're so smart, Mr. Manderville. Yep, 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 yep. Rudy says that he intends to return with his brothers to their mountain home and that he so very much enjoyed his time with us. He only wishes he could have properly thanked the saint of Nimia before he left. Aww. I wouldn't worry about that. I, I reckon the saint heard you clear as can be. Look, this was sitting by those tasty morsels you made. It's a letter from you know who. Dear Rudy, your delightful little snowball tree simply sparkled with festive starlight spirit. I dare say you are the finest of all of my helpers this season. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, I love this too much! Oh, the spirit of Christmas and starlight! Do you hear that, Rudy? It would seem the saint was watching your work the whole time. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, Rudy, of course Tehaka will miss you too. I will. Tehaka, Rudy says that were it not for you and the rest of us, he would never have realized what he was capable of or found the confidence to stand up to his brothers. He says that everyone he met here was so incredibly kind, and it was because of that he was able to make the best snowballs he's ever made. He says thank you, Tehaka, for making this the most miraculous memorable starlight of his life. Yep, yep! Fare thee well, Rudy, and promise that you'll come back to see your friends again someday, yes? Back home you go, then. Take care of yourself out there. Yep, yep! Hi, it'll be lonely here without the little guy. Worry not, my friend. Your, your and Rudy's past may be very well cross again somewhere. After all, we never know what fate has in store for us. And with that, we had best return and report to Amgar Garanji. I suspect you'll be thrilled. It's sad to hear that Rudy has gone home. Back to uh, the theater. This was cute! This was a cute event! I have a feeling it's about to end, but it was really cute! You know, technical difficulties aside. Had a lot of technical difficulties. I'm still having technical difficulties, but I'm gonna roll with it. Maybe when I get to a less populated area, it'll be fine. It's a pretty populated area. Hello, I'm Grungy. 
He had to go home. All done handing out presents, are you? Thank you very much. And good work, Rudy. Wait, where's Rudy gone off to? Rudy found his brothers and went home with confidence. Home with his brothers, but I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. Oh, to ruffle his fluffy fur one last time. You were quite fond of the little fellow, weren't you? Of course, you wouldn't get attached to that adorably pouty little face. I got attached to it! Oh well, if he's happy now, that's all that matters. And now, allow me to thank you both once more. Not just for your help with the festivities, but for everything you did for Rudy as well. You helped him find the confidence he needed to make his siblings accept him. Why, if Rudy's exploits don't fill you with the spirit of Starlight, I dare say nothing will. Why, I'm feeling more enthusiastic about the celebration than ever. And as head celebrant, I will do all in my power to spread joy and smiles with as much passion as Rudy did. Good. Oh, I just realized he holds one of the sweet. <laughs> I, too, very much enjoyed the time we spent together. Truly, it was full of new experiences to look back upon fondly. Isn't that so, Tahika? Yeah, I fear the time has come for us to part ways. After all, I have lands to traverse, people to meet, and sweets to eat. I very much... <laughs> I very much hope to see you again someday. And who is to say, should you ever find yourself in a pinch with the beast again, I very well might show up to lend a hand. You will. Hi. <laughs> Thank you, truly. I know it isn't much. Please take these as a humble token of my appreciation. And believe it or not, the saint himself has expressed an interest in meeting you. No doubt he wishes to thank you in person. Whenever you have a moment, just pray say the word. I hope I got it. My furry friends! Rudy! Minion guide. Rudy. Having served dutifully as one of Saint's little helpers, Rudy returned to his home to the mountains. But thanks to a starlight miracle, a wandering Saint succeeded in creating a minion. But the fellow is so lifelike, it bleeds. Oh, Rudy! I'm gonna click you. Rudy! Rudy! Okay, Rudy. Okay, I got my keyboard out. What happens if I give him something? Give. No, I think it's hand over. He didn't do anything. I want him to do his yip yip dance. What if I pet him? Oh, don't drop your gift, the little guy! Oh, you're so cute! Oh, look at his little walk! Oh, oh come on, Rudy! Come on, Rudy! Oh! You are adorable! Oh, no, there's one more part. Okay. Is it strange that I got so attached to Rudy in such a short time? Either way, I only hope we can meet him again someday. Ah, but there's no time to get all sentimental. I have work to do. And remember, the saint of Nemeo wishes to have a word with you, if you could time to say it. He didn't mention exactly what he wants, but he was most insistent to come along, whatever you think it could be. Come on, let's go see the saint. Okay, see? Ho, ho, ho. Thank you for joining me, my adventuring friend. As no doubt you know, I am the saint of Nibia, bringer of gifts and joy to children across the realm. Papa Garanji has told me all about your exploits this early season, and I simply had to express my gratitude in person. Truth be told, I was reserving you the whole time for the distance, 
Why, I almost wish that I could have joined you myself, but it's my policy to stay out of the spotlight. Or the starlight, as it were. Ho, ho, ho. Besides, you and your furry friends were having such a jolly time that I couldn't bring myself to intrude. Watching Rudy help make those delightful snowball trees and grow into a confident little helper was a wonder to behold. A true starlight miracle. Which brings me to my request. I was hoping you might inspire me the same way you did young Rudy. For you see, as much as it came to me to admit this year, I find myself at a loss for new gifts ideas. And so, if you could spare the time, I was hoping we might spend a little time together, just the two of us. What do you say, friend? And what would we do? I just want a taste of that inspiration of yours. Yes, I'm sure some quality time with you is precisely why I need to rekindle my creative spirit. Ho, ho, ho! No need to look so alarmed. I won't ask much of you. I simply would have your company be on a little stroll under the stars. After all, the decorations are most lovely, so while we take in the festive atmosphere together, we can amble all around Old Gridania and make our way to the Gothic altar. There are a few spots in particular I'd like to take you in along the way. Just one would be plenty if you've other places to be. So if you can spare the time, I would love you to see all three. And with that, let's be off! Ho, ho, ho! Ready? Now let's enjoy ourselves the most inspiring stroll! Oh, the Santa Nibia is now accompanying you! Okay, you may choose among six of the Saints' desired destinations. Acapulco Falls, Planted Guild, Leatherwork Guild, Marketplace, Watermill, and Great Room Growery. Furthermore, you must stay close to your companions in order to proceed. Okay. Are they marked on my map? Yes. So let's start with the leather worker skill. I still don't have a full voice, apparently. So I may not be a hundred percent. But that's fine. Okay. To the leather worker's guild. Come Saint Anemia. Oh, here. Okay, and then around the side. Oh look at this little snowman giving the other snowman a present. Oh, it's inside. Okay, I thought it was around. Inside we go. There we are. Hmm. Say of Nimia. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh ho! What a remarkable collection of most masterfully crafted leatherwork. I would expect nothing less from the home of Fano Brand. Those would be marvelous gifts indeed, though perhaps not for children. For one as cultured as you, however, I do believe this bag would be perfect. It co complements your powerful silhouette most remarkably. What do you say? Might you have something in mind for me? Ah, but there are a few greater pleasures in life than exchanging gifts with friends and loved ones. Just imagining the light on their eyes upon receiving the item you so carefully chose for them. This stroll truly has been most eye-opening. Doing this every year, one tends to fall into a bit of a routine. Slowly but surely, you are helping me remember the true joys of the season. Cool, dude. Why, I dare say I'm feeling as excited and motivated as I did during the inaugural Starlight Celebration. Ho, ho, ho! It would appear that St. Aminia has found some small measure of inspiration. You may make for Nafka's altar, curate, and the stroll. Or accompany him to other locations to inspire him further. We're gonna inspire him further. I just don't know where. You may come across other conversation points. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. What? There's a lot of conversation points. Okay. We can go to the markets. We can go to the Lancers Guild. We can go to Acapulco Falls. We can go to the mill. And we end at the altar. Let's go to the market and then up to the Lancers. I think that's a good round thing to do, and that's three spots. Let's go save Nemia. But unfortunately- Ah, he's broken too! I broke Santa! <laughs> Get down! Get down! <laughs> oh no! I broke him too! 
Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. I broke him. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, let's see. Speak about the marketplace. You gotta find something good for kids here. Ah, but of course, it's the perfect gift could be found. Where else could it be but in a marketplace chock full of the finest words? By all means, let's have a look around. Out of curiosity, what manner of fruit is it that usually inspires you to come to this market? Arms and armor, perhaps? Food stuffs? Something more ornamental? Do you tell me if anything has caught your eye? <laughs> it used to be bad. <laughs> I don't do much shopping. I buy ingredients from time to time, or it used to be about Whenever I come to the market, it's typically for cheaper ingredients or paint dyes. Because I'm not going to pay those dye prices on the market for it. It used to be belts, though. You have to do it. <laughs> it used to be belts. <laughs> belts? Oh, yes. Those fabled objects that were said to have once held on many of adventurous pantaloons. <laughs> And yet, it is strange why I tried to recall what they looked like. I see them only in silhouettes, as if they stood betwixt me and my light glare. <laughs> I love it. Oh, there are certainly plenty of wonderful items from which to draw inspiration. As always, your perspective has proved most enlightening, my friend. How is the bunny? It seems he's suspiciously inspired. Accompany him to the Adventures Guild unless you wish to spend more time with him. We're gonna go to one more location because he said he wanted to do three. So we're gonna go up to the land part of the circle and then we'll just do the we can't teleport. And then we'll run to the um then we'll run to the uh conjuring skill. That was funny. It used to be bells. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's good. <clears throat> okay, we're here. Santa Maria. Let's see what he says. Oh, so these are the barracks of the Wood Whalers. It's most inspiring to see everyone hard at work. Mayhaps they would also be inspired to feast their eyes on my own muscles, though they may be difficult to see through all these clothes. Behold! Ho 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 ho! Ho 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 ho! I didn't see them. Impressive, are they not? You're free to feel them. <laughs> I want it not the face. I'm good. Yeah, no, I'm good. Thank you. Whoa! <laughs> Come now, my friend. There's no need to be shy. Ah, but nothing stimulates the mind more than moving one's body. I dare say I'm feeling more inspired by the moment. Oh, God. Hmm. It appears that Satan and Nemia had some inspiration these things. We now accompany him to the biggest altar. Okay, that was the three stops. Let's go to the altar. Yeah, he's broken again. There he goes again! Say, Amnibia, come down! Oh, you really glitched out that time, okay. We're here! And <clears throat> <clears throat> let's go. Ho ho! As all good things do, it seems our little journey together has come to an end. And I can just feel the fire of inspiration coursing through me. Many thanks to the king. Now all that remains is to bring my ideas to life and perform a gift for the children. Yes, I must be off to my workshop. That said, I very much enjoyed our little starlight stroll together. I do hope you feel the same. It was entertaining. It was exhausting. It must be partitioned. It was entertaining! Hmm. Wow, you saw that? You saw the whole bottom of my thing just go like, nope? Ho, ho, ho! 
My apologies if I got a bit carried away at times. As a saint of Numia, I vow to devote my life to helping others. I believe the two of us are rather alike in that sense. And your exploits this season have reminded me anew of just what the Starlight Festival is all about. Anyone, be they man or beast, can bring joy and wonder to the world if they so choose. Take a screenshot of Yeah. <clears throat> it's a wonderful thing, is it not? And now I must channel all this vim and vigor as you've inspired me to craft my ga cra gifts for the children. So I fear it's time we imparted ways. Ho, 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 don't tell me. You're curious about what I'll be making for them, yes? Walking about town with you, I was struck by the calmness I felt looking at the streetscape veiled in white and the warmth that welled in my heart and seeing smiling faces of the townspeople. That's when it hit me. I can craft snow globes! Yes, little spheres of glass housing scenes depicting the starlights in Hero Redania. The children would enjoy that, don't you think? Yes. And with that, I best get to work giving physical form to my ideas. Do some Omgarani, my regards. Ho, ho, ho! Bye! Mr. Manderville, not Mr. Manderville. Back to the amphitheater. Ah, oh, this is getting so annoying! Come on! Come on! Don't glitch out on me anymore! Be good! Okay, let's go. Hmm. Many a reaper here! Many a reaper. The saint was beaming from ear to ear on his way out. You must have had quite the time together. But where's my head? He left this as a- Ooh, sorry! <laughs> But where's my head? He left this as a special starlight gift just for you. Well, I do hope you enjoy the festivities. And if you're so inclined, do check back with the same thing. over. I'm sure he's overjoyed to see you again. What do you give me? Sunshine. Radiant light. Don't see. what it looks like? I can jump in. Starlight Celebrant. No, not you. I don't need to know about it. I already know about it. Yet. What can I buy? Oh, okay. Starlight Mobile. Yes. Uh, we'll take 89 of those and 99 of those, please. Let's see what they look like. Okay, so the first one. The sunshine. You know what that reminds me? That reminds me of a firework that was in like eleven, and this is called Stardust. Ooh, I like Stardust. Ooh, it's pretty. But yeah, there we go. Oh, I saw a DC symbol. So there we go. The Starlight Festival is complete. We now have our new friend Rudy. Hi, Rudy. And we helped him gain his confidence and speak back to his brothers who were being so mean to him. And we got to meet Saint Abnimia again. Um, wow, do you see how bad this is going right now? Wow. I wouldn't be surprised if I got kids soon. I don't think it's my computer. Anyway. So yeah, so. We spread happiness and cheer to the children. We made a new friend, little Rudy. Hi, Rudy again. Uh, we got to meet St. Anemia again. Uh, and it was a generally good time. So, happy Starlight Celebration! Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays! Until next time, thanks for watching! Bye-bye!